just got into Vancouver, Canada. We are here for the Lever Cup, which is like a team tennis competition. Last year, it was in London at the O2. My first time was last year. It was so cool, so fun. This year, it's here in Vancouver, and it's my first time in Vancouver. I absolutely love Canada. I grew up going on trips to Canada with my dad. I love Coffee Crisp, and I love Canadian people. They're so nice. I love maple everything, and it's kind of my first taste of like fall weather. I was so excited to pack sweaters and jackets and get in the little fall mood. So just a recap on my last week. So we left New York. We spent like two days in Palm Springs, and then I had about 48 hours back in my apartment in LA to unpack everything from New York and then fly straight here. I'm still kind of recovering, recouping from the last couple weeks. It was a lot, it was really fun, but there was just a lot going on and it feels really good to be back in my like norm, just like being on tour. But something I did want to talk about is the last three weeks I did not work out at all. And to be honest, the care of myself both physically and mentally has been pretty non-existent. During my time in New York, I gained 10 pounds. I did not meditate. I barely read a book. I drank a disgusting amount of alcohol and I did pretty much the exact opposite of what I usually preach on this channel. And I'm not gonna be hard on myself about it. I had the time of my life. I stayed out until 6 a.m. I had a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel pretty much every single day. I ordered Prince Street Pizza at 3 a.m., I slept till noon, I made a bunch of new friends, and basically behaved like a 19-year-old who had just taken her first shot of Fireball. Anyways, I posted on my story about how I had gained some weight, and I just wanna tell you guys that there are times in our life where things come in waves. And the last couple weeks, I decided to just prioritize having fun. I'm not gonna worry about getting up and going to the gym. I'm not gonna worry about what I eat. I'm not gonna feel guilt for what I'm eating. I just wanna enjoy myself and I'm gonna let all of these things take a back seat. If there's something that you feel behind on or something that you don't feel good about right now, whether that is gym and fitness level, whether that's effort that you put into friendships, whether it's career focus, you can always, always start again. My next few workouts are gonna be tough because I'm a little out of shape, but a week from now, I'm back in my routine. No harm, there's no reason to hate myself and to be so hard on myself for not being the best at everything and not having my shit together all the time. That's not life, that's not realistic. It's not realistic for influencers, it's not realistic for you guys. So let's not be so hard on ourselves all the time, okay? Can you do that for me? Can I do that for me? Anyways, we're getting back into it. We're gonna go on this journey together, back to workouts, back to morning pages, back to me. Although I will miss my street rat era, I will see her again next summer. Maybe. Maybe. Ugh. So since I just landed, I'm gonna go to the gym. And then tonight we have the Labor Cup Gala. So every year right before Labor Cup starts, they have this gala. It's like a black tie type gala thing. So it'll be a fun night. I just got back from Rumble, which is a boxing class. I feel like it's trendy right now to be like soft workouts and Pilates and walking really changed my body and hit workouts, increased my stress hormones, you know, whatever. Maybe you're not on that side of TikTok. I'm unfortunately on that side of TikTok. There is something about like extremely aggressive, loud, stressful workout classes that just like does something for me. So I pretty consistently book 7 a.m. workout classes because if I don't do that, then I will sleep 12 hours. And when I do these early workout classes, I get up out of bed probably 20 minutes before the class starts. I throw on my workout set and I'm out the door. I don't check my phone, I don't do anything. I put on my shoes, I put on my headphones, so I go straight to the workout class. And then I'm thrown from being in this sleep state right into loud, fun music, high energy, and I feel like it's just a good way for me to start the day. Also, there's something about like big men with tattoos like yelling at me first thing when I wake up in the morning that I'm just like yes anyways I really like this boxing class you get the big gloves and everything but sometimes I feel like I just have a lot of pent-up female rage and I go to this class and I beat the shit out of this bag I mentioned yesterday I just got a bunch of fall clothes fall is absolutely my favorite season I feel like that's one downside to living in LA is that I really don't get seasons and growing up in Minnesota. I love winter, I love fall. I don't F with the heat at all. I hate heat, I much prefer jackets and sweaters. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got for fall. As you guys probably know, if you've been watching my channel for a while or follow me on Instagram, I absolutely love 
Australian brands. I just think Australian clothing brands do things right. I have a huge list of Australian clothing brands that I'm such a big fan of that I've shared on my Instagram before, but I just placed an order from Petal and Pup, which is one of my favorite Australian brands. So I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. I feel like a cozy little snowman and this one has these really cute little kind of bubble details all over, but I love a basic chunky sweater. I feel like I can style this in so many ways and I definitely will be packing this for our fall trip to Europe. Another staple I'm really going in on this fall is maxi skirts. I don't know why, but honestly, up until a year ago, I was anti maxi dress, anti maxi skirt. And now I feel like that's all I wear and buy for my bottoms. So I got this leather, fake leather maxi skirt. I honestly feel like I can make it a fit with this sweater. Let's try. Okay, so I just added this little belt and tuck my sweater in. And then I think I would wear it with these knee high boots. My obsession with knee high boots right now is a little, a little excessive. Okay, I feel like this is just a really cute, like classy fall outfit. Then I got this gorgeous rust color trench coat. I really wanted a new trench coat this fall. So I actually wore this jacket over a sweatsuit to the airport yesterday because I'm always freezing on airplanes, but I always bum to the airport like I look like such a bum so I got this and it wore it over yesterday and I feel like it just made me look a little more chic for an airport outfit and I was inspired for that from a few photos that I found on Pinterest but this one has a little cinching belt Hello. next thing I'm super excited about for fall is sweater dresses so I got this black sweater dress that I have not tried on yet, but I'm really excited to. You honestly could layer this and style it so many different ways. So I actually just left on the knee high boots that I had on. I feel like if I did it with like a big bag and did like all black with black sunglasses, it'd be so cute. Okay, last but not least, they had this gorgeous little mini peplum dress. I feel like the silhouette of this dress is so unique and I love the A-line neck. I feel like this would be really cute with a cardigan. So if you guys like any of these pieces or want to check out the other stuff on the website, they have really, really cute stuff for fall right now. You can use my code at Morgan Riddle for 20% off everything. I broke out for the first time actually in months, I think just from getting my makeup done at New York Fashion Week. Like if I use any skincare or makeup products, that are not mine, I always, always break out because I'm so acne prone. So I had this tiny pimple, I freaked out about it, attacked it, and made it about 100,000 times worse. And I'm like, if I just pick it one more time, then it'll be gone. But obviously that is not how that works and I'm continuing to self-sabotage my face. I'm usually really good about packing. Like, I never forget anything. On this trip, I forgot my Dyson, I forgot my Lexapro, and I forgot my retainers. So my teeth are moving a mile a minute right now. I'm freaking out because I don't have my Lexapro. I just ordered this like $20 curling iron on Uber Eats because I need something for tonight. I don't know if these actually do um, literally anything, but they make me feel better about myself. And that's all that matters. I don't even know what time I have to be ready by because Taylor does not tell me anything ever actually let me tell you guys something last week when we were in new york it was the day of the hermes show so it's thursday we're flying back friday he tells me on thursday morning by the way we're going to palm springs this weekend mind you i had not been home since july this man <laughs> booked a trip to palm springs with a group of our friends like a golf trip and tells me the day before if that's not the most boy thing ever whatever the trip was fun but i'm like what, what? <laughs> I don't even remember how to use a curling iron. options for the outfit tonight the dress code is gala glam and I just googled that and it means black tie usually so I have this gold dress it's a mini dress with oh what are you doing just get off out of me what I'm vlogging get out okay anyways so technically this is a mini dress which I don't think fits into a black tie dress code, but it has 
just this long thing that goes down to the ground anyways. And then the other option I have is just this black silk floor length. So not as fun, but maybe a little more suitable for the occasion. Okay, here is option one. It's got this like front train. I love it, it's sparkly. I look like an Oscar trophy. This is option two. Sadly, I feel like this is the more appropriate choice. So I'm probably gonna go with this one, but I added these big, fun gold earrings. I need to wear that gold dress one day, but I just don't know what to. Because my nails. Sorry, can you do it? <laughs> um, okay, so we are at the beach at East Bay. Hi, hi. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's kind of like the Canadian version of Bondi. It's a guy smoking a cig and playing frisbee. We just went to lunch at. Hold on. Wait. Malika, do you know the name? What's the name of the place? Cactus, cactus, cactus cafe, cactus cafe, cactus cafe. And went down it to the beach there, and now we're on the way back to the hotel because Felix, yes. Mina's man's, is playing tonight against Monfils. Yep. And so we're gonna go to the match, cheer him on, hopefully win. I think yeah. they, the boys, already won the first match today. They're in the midst of the second, and then no, they won. Oh, they won the, the second? first two. Yeah. Oh, so, so we're okay. Good. We're we're off to a good start. Oh. Ready to go, the boy. The boy. This is the player lounge, and this tournament is where the Vancouver Canucks, the hockey team, usually play. So they basically build a giant tennis stadium, like right on top of the ice. I got my coffee and I am in, I believe, the Yale Town. Yes, I'm in the Yale Town area neighborhood of Vancouver and it reminds me so much of North Loop, Minneapolis, which is basically where my hometown is. And it's very homey and it's kind of chilly and it smells like fall and it feels like fall and it's just very nice and comforting to feel like I'm somewhere that's similar to home. Number one American, Taylor Alright, Taylor just won his match. He played pretty unreal, actually. <laughs> played well. He played really, really well. Like, really well. Maybe the best I've seen you play in a minute. Quite well, for sure. Now I am taking content for him <laughs> for one of his brand deals. It's not a, it's not a brand deal. I'm not an influencer. It's a, it's a sponsorship. sponsorship. Okay, a little sweaty. Bleach it on. No. This is the gym that they warm up in. And after his match, he'll bike for like five or ten minutes to cool down. Mm -hmm. You know the you know the routine. Yeah. Like power on it without feeling like I could miss. In the first set, I was getting that getting that power. I didn't think I'd miss. Hey, good morning. I am in Stanley Park in Vancouver. It's so beautiful, and it's just enveloping the feeling of a crisp fall morning and the smell of the wood. I'm just in the best mood ever and I wish, I wish, I wish I could start every morning like this because 
It's just so nice and it's so quiet. It's like a Sunday morning. There's nobody here. Stanley Park is this huge park in Vancouver, not very far from downtown. It was only like a 15 minute drive to get here, but it's so nice. I am at the Vancouver Aquarium, which was highly recommended to me by a number of people. And also I love aquariums, one, because I just love seeing like the fish and the animals. And two, I love watching kids have this extremely childlike wonder of the world. I don't know, it always puts me in a good mood to come do something like this, so. because we've been drinking champagne for probably two hours straight. So we're gonna see how this goes. Who knows how this is about to go. <laughs> Labor Cup win, there's usually a dinner here at the hotel and then everyone goes out afterwards. And Taylor is feeling himself. <laughs> you look so cool, baby. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Look out. Thanks. 